All right. It is Friday. It is uh, another storm coming in, so couldn't do a whole lot outside today. I guess the majority of the storm is supposed to come tonight. So anyway, that's what I got going here. I went up, went out and got me a three excuse me, a three inch hose here, okay? Three eighth inch. Yeah. I'm gonna get some more flow. A lot of restriction in these hoses here. Well actually this hose right here. If you saw from my last video, pumped up the tire over there to 30 pounds. Those are 30 pounds max on those tires. So that's all they had to go up to. And while I had 30 pounds in the tire, I had 90 in my tanks here in my uh, compressor. So you see I'm losing some uh, flow. There's some restriction in the hose. So here's the hose I was using, or a piece of it. And you can see it's not very uh, big. Actually, if you blow on it, when you blow on it, boy, you can feel the restriction in there. It's not blowing very good. You gotta blow pretty hard. And this is just a short section. So you figure uh, blowing through this right here, I'm losing a lot of uh, flow. CFM, cubic feet per minute. So, the way to remedy that is to first of all, I upgraded this to 3 8 chuck so I can run the 3 8 hose. Um, instead of that little tiny plastic hose, I'm going to bump that up. We're going to um, eliminate some of the restriction in the hose there, some of the pressure loss. Actually, it's flow loss. So we got quarter inch by three eighths. Um, to show you what I'm talking about here, here's the old chuck. Okay, let me show you a clean one. This is the old chuck right here. This is quarter inch by quarter inch. This is three eighths. 3 8 by quarter inch. So you can see the inlet, the thread size is quarter inch, but if you look inside there very carefully, you can see the piston in there, the valve. One on the left is quarter inch, and one on the right is 3 8 inch. It's got a bigger airway in there. So you see on the outlet size, whoa. Now you can see the difference inside there. So that's going to eliminate a lot of restriction right there. Let me show you the chucks. Chuck. Okay. The silver one on the right is 3 8 by quarter. See the quarter inch? They're both quarter inch. Look at the chuck side here. Hmm. Also, there's different fittings or different connectors here. You gotta make sure you get the right size. If you get a coupler, you gotta get the the chuck here, the male side to fit. So this here is an automotive chuck, I think. This one here, I don't know. I thought this was automotive, but heck, you know. As long as you got a matching set, you'll be all right. But you can see there's different ends. They're not interchangeable. Okay, besides the diameter, the design is uh, funky different. Okay, so just for your own personal information there. Okay, here's the quarter by three eighths. Here's a three eighths by three-eighths. Um, this three-eighths by three-eighths is going to go on my big compressor right there. It's going to get me a lot more flow on there. 
You have to buy me another hose just for that compressor. Uh, the little plastic hose is fine if you got a little Japanese car or something like that with a little tiny tire, but you know. I drive big American trucks here with big ass tires. It'll do the job. It's going to take longer. And that's what I'm trying to eliminate here. The fill up time. So, for the house right now, um, my little plastic hose there, curly hose is, is good. It'll do with the big tank there. But for my little setup, I want to run something a little faster when I'm out on the road, especially when I'm outdoors in situations like this where it's raining or it's snowing. Uh, I like to pump them tires up as quick as possible and get the hell out of there. And it's happened a few times I've been out in the snow and it's cold, the wind's blowing, I'm just standing around, the sun's going down, <laughs> standing there waiting for a little pump, pump tires back up. So, let me see, what else can I tell you? Now, I normally don't uh, like using couplers, but these fittings came with these chucks here. This is a, look at this, a Husky connector kit. It came with uh, couplers, male, females. The couplers are all male ends, though. And the hose is... The hose is a male end, you know, so... That's not going to work. Might work in San Francisco, but it ain't working here. So I got to put a female coupler in there. So for those of you who don't know, the male end screws into the female end. It's a sex ed class. <laughs> you know, hey, everybody's got their own ideas on. on how to do this stuff. This is just stuff I've learned as I've come along here. I got this down. I think I'm going to get a lot more out of here now. So anyways, that's what it is. That's what I'm up to today. just want to get my hose straightened out here. But, you know, all this little stuff starts adding up. You know, I spent a uh, quick 20 something dollars today. These kits, I bought two of these. Actually, where do they go? They go something like that. These were like nine bucks a piece. I already bought two of them because they came with the chucks and they came with two two quick connects and uh, the, the adapters, the uh, male to male couplers and female couplers, you know. And uh, the hose is about 12 bucks. So, yeah, it's just the way it goes, I guess. So, for right now, I think that's about it.